tell us a lot, but what can you tell the fans about what's coming up with Gold in these next few episodes? Uh, well, he there is some kind of uh, resolution happens in terms of the bell thing, with a memory and all of that, but uh, not at all in the way that you imagine. <laughs> a typical once upon a time fashion, he goes way off that way, and uh, that starts a whole new adventure with those two. Um, I don't know how that's going to end, really. Uh, in terms of his relationship with his son, that, that's a real that's a sad, sad part of his life. In uh, the Manhattan episode, I thought one of the saddest things that he said to him was, you know, I can turn the clock back and make you 14 again. It's really sad because and he's been wanting to try and meet him for hundreds of years, and that's all he's got. And of course, the son says, Are you crazy? I don't want to be 14 again. So obviously, we have to revisit that and take that somewhere else. And uh, what I can say is that by the end of the season, I think, if, I think it takes about to episode 22, something happens which changes that forever. Wow, okay. Now, right now, he's all about, he's found Bay, but, you know, of course, Bell doesn't remember him. Every time he tries to go for happiness, something yeah. gets in his way. Yeah. But Probably mostly himself. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> if he did do it, though, do you think he could go back to Storybrooke and just be happy and give up the power that was such a problem for him? You know, again, I genuinely don't know, but I would say not. I don't think so. I think if, I think if we did that, we're undercutting the character. I think that kind of uh, flawed manner that he has is what makes the man, in a sense. And I think that if he, if he started to behave in a normal, you know, honourable fashion, I don't think audition would want him anymore. <laughs> Great. Thank you so much. Well, nice to talk to you. Man. You too.